beautiful Libras. Welcome back, everybody. If you're new, I welcome you. Libra, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate your comments. I do read them daily. I don't always have time to answer them, but I certainly make time to read them. And thank you from the bottom of my heart, Libra. No, it helps me pick up on your energy. And as well, it just is a great way to share and contribute to the channel. So thank you so much. Libra messages. What is it that the universe wants to reveal to Libra today? What is it that Libra should be aware of? Not every Libra is going to resonate with this story that's for certain but it spirit is usually pretty good at revealing what needs to be revealed so spirit what do you want to say to libra what does libra need to see know or hear for their higher good what are the messages for libra what will be of assistance to libra to know what events or situations should they be made aware of? Let's start there. Romance, celebration, or a party. The month of March is important. The month of April is important. And there is marriage here. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. Somebody's celebrating. There's going to be a marriage for somebody. Triumph over troubles and obstacles for others of you. The month of uh, March and April are significant. Somebody may have gotten married in March or April. Or is getting married in March or April. Anyways, it's to do with a romance, a celebration, or a party. What's going on here? Looks like your triumph over your troubles is done or is ending. Yeah, you might be feeling tied down or frustrated about something because there was a broken bridge here. Uh, okay, somebody broke a bridge and it... You're triumphing over this. You could have been feeling tied down or frustrated. It, it could have been a marriage that was broken. Others of you, you're getting married. <laughs> a goal-oriented person. So it looks as though something was broken. It was unsuccessful. Somebody was feeling tied down or frustrated. You have triumph over your troubles and obstacles. It's to do with the marriage. There is a romance here, a celebration or a party, a goal-oriented person. But some of you are getting married in March or April. <laughs> What's going on here? Romance is struck, that's for sure. Somebody could be dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Or you could be that woman. Whatever it is, you guys are successfully... Having a triumph over obstacles and troubles. And it could have been over this, this uh, woman with dark hair. Or you could be that woman. Oh, well, what's coming in? Somebody may be getting advice from a friend. Now the boat is here with money property through an inheritance, a winning or a windfall. Somebody's getting advice from a friend. 
you're going to be triumphant over your troubles and obstacles. Some of you are getting married. Some of you were in a marriage and maybe somebody interfered in that marriage and it was a broken bridge. But it looks as though somebody's getting advice from a friend or is a good person to go to for advice. Take it as it resonates. You could be this dark woman with dark hair or complexion. Uh, it's involving a marriage, a romance. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Yeah, it's like somebody has had muddled, unclear thinking or wasn't thinking clearly about something or dealing with somebody with that energy. What are the messages for Libra? Pay attention to your health is here. So there could be someone you're dealing with, somebody um, maybe getting advice. Get back to the basics. Hmm. So it's like this situation could have affected your health and just get back to simplicity, get back to the basics. You know, you might need to go to a friend for advice. Yeah. Oh, end of a situation or someone's going out of your life with the casket great worry over nothing a vacation you might just be going on a vacation this comes a lot for you guys so it's almost as if though you're going to a friend for advice things will not always be this way something could have happened in the month of March or April within a marriage or a romance and you're having a tr someone went out of your life or is going out of your life you're going to triumph over this or you already have you're on the money path here romance marriage going to a friend for advice things will not always be this way pay attention to your health and get back to the basics you know it's great worry over nothing it could be that you're worrying Someone you're dealing with could have ill health or muddled, unclear thinking. And it's almost as though you're worried that they're going out of your life. Or what do you do when this person passes on? And it's like, get back to the basics. Just take things simply. Don't let things affect your health. And you might have been dealing with someone whose health was affected and this is the advice that you're giving them you might need a vacation <laughs> situations that are in the balance that require careful handling so whatever you're dealing with it's like you're worrying over nothing. Don't worry because you're going to be very successful at overcoming this. Whatever this was to you, this card wanted to flip. We're going to take it. The month of February is important. Yeah, sorrow over a loss. So indeed, maybe somebody is passing on or somebody is leaving your life. It could have happened in February or April. And it's like, there's romance in the air. A celebration, a party, and a marriage. And money or property through an inheritance, a winning or a windfall. Maybe you're going on a vacation. Whatever it is, you're worrying for nothing. You're going to be triumphant over it. And it's like, yeah, this wish will not be granted here. It was a wish not granted. So there was a lot of hard work ahead.
Hmm. Tell me about Libra. What is this about? Can you clarify any of this for Libra? Clarify some of this for Libra. What's this all about? Nothing more on that one. Hmm. You might have been dealing with a dark uh, man or with dark complexion or hair. That was... Huh. Could be the news of a birth or a new business opportunity coming in, a marriage, hard work ahead. So things will not always be this way. You're worrying for nothing. It's going to be okay. You're going to be triumphant. There is a marriage coming in, a romance. You're a goal-oriented person. And you're going to get some kind of money through an inheritance, a winning or a windfall, and maybe you're going on a vacation and birthing a new business or hearing news of a birth of a child. So what is this all about for Libra spirit? Many things going on for many different Libras. That's a lot of messages. So take it as it resonates to your situation and just leave the rest behind. Because that's a lot of info to, yeah, get back to the basics. Just, it's like, be simple. Just simplify things. Interesting. A celebration. So a romance, a celebration, or a party. It's time to celebrate something. Dance, celebration, just breathe. Nurturing, nurture yourself. <laughs> because it's all going to be okay. It's like someone is going into some sort of sanctuary it's just like i need some alone time here i need time to think i don't want to be around anybody i need to breathe <clears throat> especially when you get unclear thinking so that you can create a lot of you do your creations when you're alone and it's like time to communicate with source that's where you commune to communicate with source so you can get your focus back and there's like crystals here something clouds are here but it's changing shape shifting so it's almost as if that is where you get your synergy that is where you get back in balance mm -hmm. connecting to earth whale is here breach so something was broken all right a wish wasn't granted somebody could have breached their promise or breached or gone in reverse uh you know it was in breach in reverse bent over backwards it's like hmm and it's like you go getting grounded Okay, it's all about grounding, tree, grounding, so forest, trees, cave, it's like I need time to breathe, I need time, I need a vacation, I need time to get grounded, that's where I get grounded, I gotta isolate, and it's like you may go to a friend for advice, but this is when earth magic happens it's like something magically unfolds with the lotus it's it all becomes clear it all starts to blossom everything unfolds the way it should be 
And if you're worrying, the Spirit is saying it's all going to unfold. You will have harmony. Music. A lot of you listen to music and feel at peace when you do that. And it, others of you, celebration is through dance. You might just love to dance. It's DNA karma. It's all good. It's all going to be good. Full moon completion. Something is being completed or did complete on a full moon. Karma is coming in on a full moon. And it's like some of you go on a vision quest. You might actually be taking a vacation going on a vision quest. Trying to get grounded again. If not, this is where you go to get grounded. You need alone time to think. the desert so that like you can release something is being released in the autumn equinox in the fall the milky way is here it's like you get a clear perspective of things when you on this vision quest, it's almost as though you just need time alone to get grounded again, to breathe. Some of you go to a friend. Some of you go and isolate yourselves. It's just, I want to be alone. Hmm. There's a promise here for the new moon. It's a promise. Movement and rebirth. Hmm. Somebody got a wake up call with a tsunami. Somebody is getting a wake up call. Hmm. It's almost like things are still. But you're going to have movement here. A wake-up call. Somebody got a wake-up call or is going to get one. Yeah, and somebody just wants to be their own island. I need time to think. I want to be in solitude. That's where I get grounded. That's where I get stable. If I have unclear thinking, I need to get clear. I need time alone. I need to think. I need to get grounded. Some of you do are going on a vision quest in solitude. Getting back in touch with your true self and with the universe. Going on a vision quest to Find out what your true purpose is. Hmm. Love and compassion is here. Marriage, romance, love. Somebody got a wake up call. Wolf instinct. That's intuition. And it's like stone people, vigilance, like standing your ground, defending yourself, sticking up for yourself. Somebody's getting a wake up call. And this summer, you're just radiant. Okay? You're shining, you're radiant. And everything you do now starts to become effortless. It's like, what a change. It's like a promise of change here. Okay? 
it flows effortlessly. It just flows to you. After this period, something has been activated. And it looks as though things start to flow abundantly in your direction. A new beginning, a new day dawning. New love, new romance, goals. Abundance here, vacations, a new beginning, something's been activated now that is going to make you very happy. You defending yourself, sticking up for yourself, the wolf instinct is here. You instinctively know there's love here and you could have been in solitude and things were not moving, but something is going to be rebirthed. And there will be movement. This promise, somebody's got a higher perspective. Somebody you may have released or something was released. You could have gone on a, on a vision quest. Something on the full moon is completeless. Somebody's getting their karma. And somebody's dancing and celebrating and is at peace. Everything is unfolded perfectly like earth magic. You're getting grounded. You're grounding yourself. Something is in breach. It's re synergy. Shape shifting. Focus is on crystals and communion with spirit and creation. That's when you get creative. It's like in your own little sanctuary, nurturing, and take a breath and breathe because it's all going to be good. Wow. Spirit, tell me more. Somebody's got a wake-up call. So Spirit is telling you not great worry over nothing. Somebody needs to get a wake-up call. Somebody is getting a wake-up call. And looks as though there's love in the air. Looks as though there's abundance and money in the air. Looks as though you're very goal-oriented. Celebrating something. A party. A new beginning. Getting just simplifying things. Into me, I see. That's that vision quest. You looked within. This isolation or this time has given you time to go within. That's the vision quest. You went within. Some of you may have actually gone on a vision quest. I know like the native uh, people are... Something magical happens on those um, vision quests. It's like they get put through extremes to like invoke um, their creativity and the messages from the universe. And it looks like Libra's done this. You may not have gone on an actual vision quest, but internally you are or have. And it's like then a burst of magic happens once you go within and see within a burst of magic a beautiful uncaging it's like you get freed you freed yourself you look into yourself you free yourself it's like being released to a whole new beginning a whole new world of abundance and love and romance vacations just focusing in on your goals it's a beautiful uncaging and uh yeah it's like you found the key it has a powerful purpose behind it simply by relaxing taking a deep breath don't worry it's all good Writing the next chapter. 
You might have been dealing with someone who was a storyteller, but some of you are storytellers, and that is part of your creative gifts. Writers, writing the next chapter of your life. The pages are empty, waiting for you to fill it. A merry motive. Someone has really good intentions here. This is a powerful purpose, a merry motive behind it all. Time. Time. Something is changing. It's a five. It's time to change. Time to change. To find out your powerful purpose. And maybe things have changed. You've entered the divine matrix. And it is great and full. Healing of the heart, close encounters, new romance, romance, marriage. You come shining through with a powerful move. <laughs> it is what it is, spirits sing. <laughs> Feeling the world. You got the world in your hands. Don't worry. It's all good. You're going to be good. If you're not already. It's like you hold the whole world, you know. It's like It is what it is. If you're feeling the weight of the world, it's not in your hands. Release it. It's not your weight to carry. It's all good. Mm -hmm. As above, so below. Karma being played out here. Someone's getting a wake-up call. Oh, huh. oh no, that wants to, uh, I had these in reverse, guys. So, equal reciprocity, equal give and take, balance. This is strange. It's like healing and it's like you're moving on to your destiny. This is moving on to your Ten of Pentacles and moving on to... Someone's doing a lot of thinking about presenting an offer of happiness. And it's like, there could be a lot of uh, jealousy around you or hatred. I don't know what this is. Haters hating, jealousy, whatever it is. Someone's jealous of your happiness. But the high priest wants to show, guys, as above, so below. Karma. Wake up call. It's like this wanted to come in reverse, so si someone wants to break the silence as well. Somebody who could have been you blocked or someone was acting greedy or selfish muddled thinking, indecisive, foolish, I don't know. Somebody could be taking a leap of faith here. Mm -hmm. Foolish, deceptive, chose a different path, bridge broken. This one wants to show. Greedy and selfish, I knew that. Could have ghosted, whatever. That's when you did your work, when you went in isolation, they did you a favor. Because when you went on your vision quest, your internal search, you emerge like a burst of magic, great and full. 
made you sad, but you know what? If they didn't see the emperor, huh. yeah, it's like the emperor acting like he's uh, single here, getting attention from others. Well, being a player, it's like the truth is they did you a favor. It was a blessing in disguise. It was a blessing in disguise. Because look at you're being blessed by this truth. They did you a favor. You looks like you're on the money path. It looks like you went within and you have emerged like great and full and Full of purpose and passion. Mm -hmm. And they're getting a reality check. The tsunami. The wake up call. Mm -hmm. You can't fight off a tower. Yep. Probably drove somebody into dark night of the soul. And it's like, I don't know, are they immature? Or do they want to reach out? It's like, you're focused on your goal oriented. You're focused on your financial stability. Getting grounded. You're being blessed for this deception. This It was a blessing in disguise. Because now they're stressed out and stuck. And you're manifesting abundance, taking action, very attractive. Probably have a lot of people attracted to you. And now what? There's that tsunami <laughs> of emotions. Oh, well, you're moving forward. Yep. Hmm. What? They want to apologize? Are they turning their back on this shiny new toy because they're getting their karma with the third party? And now they're in their emotions about the past? Their empress? Their twin flame? Who they hurt and betrayed and left out in the cold? Now they want to make an offer? <laughs> and they're going to fight for the soulmate connection oh my goodness and speak a truth about love and if you're not entertaining the past this is new love there is marriage in the cards for many of you others it's a, at least a solid romance that is big love with somebody who is honest someone who sees you and loves you as a soulmate partner mm -hmm. and they can easily knock these wands of passion down just saying new day dawning and there it is right in the card right behind all that hurt there is a new day dawning passionate new beginning they're burdened they're heartbroken and what you're working on your own happiness divinely protected and guided it's like you're not being anybody's options things came to an end you learned to be an intuitive and you know what you're on that cycle it's like you'll hear this person out, but some of you are going to reject them because they, they're too angry. But I have to say something right now. You're stable. You're grounded. There's a power couple union here. A divine union. <laughs> Trapped in conflict cycles. They're watching you. 
They're watching you get justice. They're watching you get karmic justice. New love, new careers, new paths, opening up, abundance, marriage, love. They're watching Libra get justice. Hmm. That ought to conflict them. That ought to make them think. <laughs> wow, Libra. Somebody's getting a wake-up call. Hitting with that big roller coaster of emotions there like a big tsunami. That's karma. And that's karmic justice. Take care, beautifuls. Have a wonderful day.